Season 2 is just around the corner, literally only a few days left. Early Feb is our release. So what better time to make a what you need to know before watching Season 2. Season 1 has a total of 9 episodes, so here it is, a quick recap of The Dragon Prince Season 1. There are six primary sources of magic. The sun, the moon, the stars, the earth, the sky, and the ocean. And there is also dark magic, which the humans used to kill the Dragon King and destroy the prince's egg. Dark magic. A group of moon shadow elves from the land of Zadia organize an ambush to kill the human king and his son to get even for their crimes. A guard spots one of the elves as he's on patrol, but this elf lets him go, and this elf is Rayla. Callum and Ezrin are the king's sons. Callum is his stepson and Ezrin is the real son. Once the king gets word of the ambush, he plans to send away the sons to a safe place, to the Banther Lodge. The elves bind themselves to the mission. They must kill the king and his son in order to release the bindings. Runan, head of this elf pack, finds out that Rayla didn't kill the guard and exiles her from the mission. Rayla decides she can handle the mission herself, and she goes at it alone, all while the other elves prepare. Callum acquires what is known as a primal stone from Claudia, the daughter of Viren, who is the king's high advisor of sorts. The king gives Callum a letter to read once his death arrives. Rayla reaches the tower and finds Callum, and so begins a chase. When the chase is happening, Viren hatches an idea to transfer the king's soul into one of his guards. So when the king's body dies, the king himself is still around. However, the king refuses this proposal. Ezrin arrives to help Callum and they stun Rayla with bait, their pet, and they escape. Ezrin leads them all to a secret room. Right before Rayla has the chance to kill them, Ezrin shows her the prince's egg and how it's still alive. It was never destroyed. The king prepares for the invasion with his guards by his side. After discovering the egg is still alive, Rayla suddenly turns her intentions. Claudia finds the gang and tries to take the egg back from them, rambling about how they stole it to protect the humans. Callum, Ezrin and Rayla escape with the egg, and to protect themselves from Claudia's magic, Callum discovers that he is a mage. King Harrow scolds Viren even more, calling him a servant. This frustrates Viren, and I believe this is where he starts to turn a bit. Renan finds Rayla. She tells him about the egg, but he refuses to listen. They have bound their souls. And so, they fight. Callum hides Ezrin and tries to go and talk to the king. He confronts Viren about stealing the egg and Viren forces him to keep his mouth closed. Before Callum can do anything, the elves arrive. Callum escapes with his voice, but the elves kill the king. Renan is captured, and the three leave the castle and run as far as they can and begin their path to Zadia to return the dragon egg. The funeral for King Harrow happens, and Viren immediately tries to coronate himself as king. 
claiming the princes are dead. After analyzing the primal stone, Callum remembers an old box he had. He convinces Rayla and Ezrin that they need to make their way to the Banther Lodge, where he remembers this magic box from. But when they arrive at this lodge, they bump into Amaya, their aunt, and head guard of the Breach stronghold. Amaya was sent there by the king to protect Callum and Ezrin. Amaya can't speak, so she signs. Her first-in-command, Gren, is her translator. Amaya scopes out the lodge, and after hunting around, Rayla is captured. Callum and Ezrin free her with the help of Bait, but are cornered by Amaya and her troops. Callum and Ezrin convince Amaya Rayla is going to kill them, and they make off in a boat. Amaya arrives at the kingdom and informs Viren the princes live, so no coronation can happen without them. Viren sucks the energy out of a butterfly and uses it for himself. Looks to be dark magic. And Callum finds that his magic box glows when it comes close to a primal source. Viren is still stuck on being king. Amaya refuses to allow him that. The throne stays empty till they find the princess. And the binding on Rayla's wrist keeps getting tighter. While they're making their way to Zadia, Callum keeps trying to improve his magic skills. But he's still not that good. And we discover that Rayla is actually afraid of the water. Viren tricks Amaya to go back to her breach stronghold. She suggests her main guard Commander Gren leads the party to find the princes. But once Amaya is gone, Viren goes back on his word. He locks up Commander Gren and his own children, Sorin and Claudia, lead the hunt. While on the water, the gang is attacked by an ocean monster and Callum gains more confidence using his magic to defeat it. Rayla speaks of her parents being part of the elite dragon guard, protecting the dragon king and the egg. She says her parents simply ran away from the fight when the humans came to kill the king. A cowardly move. And Renan as prisoner refuses to cooperate, refusing to eat as well. An assassin that Amaya sent after Rayla finds her and tries to kill her, but Rayla escapes with her skills. Viren tells Sorin he must return with the news that the princes have died, even though they're still alive. Rayla suggests they follow a harder path up the mountain to ward off anyone following. And back at the kingdom, Claudia tries to break through to a magic mirror, which Viren says has a secret it's hiding. Viren tells Claudia to capture the egg at all costs and bring it back to Catullus. After an avalanche, the gang lands on an icy lake. Rayla tells them about the binding and in the process of saving the egg, she drops it in the water. Ezrin jumps in to save it and ends up bringing it out. But after its fall, the egg's glow is fading. They try to warm the egg, but it's no good. And so they head to the local village to try and find some help. Rayla dresses like a human to pass by unnoticed. Sorin and Claudia follow the scent and discover the gang was at the Banther Lodge and they continue their search following the river. A stranger at the village carries a special weapon with immense heat. 
Rayla believes she can cut her binding with it, but it's no good. Callum and Ezrin try to help the egg, but the doctor there can't do anything. This little girl in the village speaks of a healer in the woods who could help. Soren and Claudia go into a cave to search for things for her spell. And after discovering Rayla is actually an elf, the gang is chased out of the village. They follow their own path up the mountain to find the healer. Heading up the mountain, the little girl Alice and her wolf Ava help the gang. Callum plans a maneuver for the gang when they are attacked by monsters at sundown. And Viren continues to try and bargain with Renan to tell him what the mirror does for his freedom. But Renan tells Viren he is already dead. The gang is attacked by a beast and they fail to use their maneuver on the monster, and so they hide. And Viren proposes something far worse than death to get Renan to talk. Rayla and Ezrin bond a bit, and Callum learns a thing or two about himself by talking to Alice. They leave their hiding, and once the monster comes back, they finally use their maneuver to stop it. Renan refuses again to tell Viren about the mirror. So Viren traps Renan inside of a coin, alive for eternity using what I reckon is dark magic. Ezrin tells the gang there is no real healer. Ezrin tells them that he can understand animals. Callum refuses to listen though. As they continue through the forest, Rayla finds a dead person and they continue to see monsters following them. A giant spider attacks them, but with Ezrin's ability, he knows that the spider and the monsters around them are actually just illusions. And so they make their way to the top of the mountain. And to their luck, the miracle healer shows. But as Ezrin said, she was never a healer, just an illusionist. But she tells them the only way to save the egg is to hatch it. But this can only happen during a storm. And so Callum shatters his primal stone and the egg hatches. The dragon bites off Rayla's binding and Claudia casts her spell to locate the egg, pointing a path straight to the gang. And season one ends. So that is everything you need to know before season 2 comes out in just a few days. Let me know if I did miss anything and I'll make sure to add them in the comments or description below. I do hope you enjoyed this video, thanks for watching and until next time.